good morning and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We're at home here and this is my driveway here at home in Ipswich and uh, people have been saying what's happened to Ethel? Well she's right behind me look the little white car. Um, she hasn't been out on the back of Smurf lately um, but I did take her up to Yarmouth for a MOT and we towed her there and uh, went out in the van with Joe and uh, we had a day out. Didn't feel much that day. Joe and I got lots to catch up on, so uh, we just enjoyed the day. Took Smurf, had a cup of tea uh, by the beach in uh, Yarmouth while the car was being MOT'd, and we had the brake fluid to, uh, changed as well on uh, Ethel. So she's fit and healthy, and still right there. You never know, we might take her out for a drive on the back of Smurf at some point if we're visiting something that we can't uh, park or something like that. Okay, well, um, what's this video all about? Well, we've just got back from a, a tour of Scotland, as you know, and also we visited uh, Yorkshire. And uh, during our travels, we had, if you remember, the bad luck in Sky, the bad weather and the parking ticket and damage to our step. Well, I thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about uh, what's happening with that. I've uh, been uh, having a little look at it, and today I'm going to get it up on the ramps uh, here on the drive and show you what's happened. Well, most of you now will recognise our uh, motorhome style door on the side of our van conversion. It's um, uh, got a step below it here, which is one of these electrically operated steps, and it's 700mm wide. So from this end to this end is 700 mil and that, ex that is extended out at the moment fully and uh, so uh, you can see the, the step does come out but it's a little bit of a problem. Now if I press the button and uh, withdraw the step this is what happens it gets stuck so I have to just lift it with my foot give it a little bit of a nudge and then it goes in <laughs> hardly the thing you want to be doing is giving a step a kick each time but uh, here it comes out here it comes out again and you can see it catches on the way out as well all right so let's have a look underneath and see what's going on so a few of you have asked um, what sort of clearance is there underneath the uh, van here um, I'll climb under and have a little look. We're on the level driveway here. There's uh, no dips and bumps. It's very flat. Slightly sloping to the front, but only slightly just to let the rain run off the drive. Let's have a little measure and see how much clearance there is under the van. I can tell you that there is 150 mil clearance from the ground to the bottom of the step. Six inches in old money. Not very much when you consider this is a long wheelbase vehicle. So if you do get caught on a curb or on a camber of a road, you can easily get caught out and scratch the bottom of the step. Let's have a look and get it on ramps and see if we can see what damage has been done. Both wheels uh, on ramps have also got a, a brick in there to stop the wheel from rolling back uh, while I'm looking underneath. So let's have a little peek under here. Well, I've got my mat down to lay on and the first thing I've noticed is that on the step here there was an end cap. This is slightly distorted here and the end cap has broken and come off. There was a rail along here. Um, like a chrome rail with a brush on it that has come off and a cap end cap on this end here also which has come off now you can see that it's slightly twisted here so rather than being an oblong shape this is slightly on the angle that way 
Um, so it's obviously the, the forward force and the scraping underneath has pushed the bottom here back a bit. So that's made this step a little tight when it slides in and out. But the catching, now let's have a look, look underneath to see if we can find out why it's catching on, on the in and out movement. Okay, well I'm laying on the side now, I know what you're saying, laying down on the job again Trev. Um, what I can see uh, along here is clearly some, some damage and scraping along here, which you would expect. Uh, this is the front edge, uh, the front of the van is that way, so that's the front edge and there's also a little bit of damage uh, there as you can see where the end is um, curled up a bit, possibly when I've reversed to try and get off on Sky I tried to reverse and get off the, the uh, curb which, which was sticking up. Um, clearly I've caused some damage there and there's also a little piece of uh, scraping along the back. Now this rear edge here seems to be where the problem is. There's a piece of broken, this under, um, this piece here is just a, a panel to protect the moving step and that pl it's like a plastic panel that's bowing a bit um, and on this edge here this, this edge here has got quite bent and opened so the slot that was holding that in has gone and there's a bit bit of plastic broken off there yeah, it's pretty cosmetic really and you're not going to see it from when you're standing up and walking around the van but it's a shame isn't it now, I think what's happening is just on the front here, there is a, uh, a bolt here which looks very close to this panel. So it looks to me like this gap along here is narrower than it should be. So it may be that this panel has been pushed up and uh, that gap is, you know, is this is catching when the step goes in and out on this lip. So what I'm going to do is to uh, widen that. I'm going to get a screwdriver and uh, big hammer. No, and I'll, I'll just get a lever and see if I can prise that down a bit, just to widen the gap. Because here on this one, there is about a three mil gap there, um, where there is the, there isn't on that one. It's clearly uh, very tight on that one. There's this one, there's clearance. So let's do that and then we'll try doing the step again and see if we can get that to go in and out. Just going to pull that edge down a bit and try and get a little bit of clearance and that looks like it's fairly even all the way along there now. So, and this is where the the step was caught and it pressed that up which gave it a bit of a curve here so that straightened it a bit still a little bit tight this end let's try the step and see if we've got clearance Well, I think I'm going to call that a bit of a result. That's working perfectly well now. Uh, saved me a trip back to Nottingley or even to my local uh, caravan and motorhome dealer here, uh, Sharman's in Ipswich. I did have a quick word with Paul Sharman earlier in the week and said I'd just get under the van and see if I could find out if it's something really simple. Seems to have been uh, fairly simple, doesn't it? need to be very careful about how I go over lumps and bumps and off-road of course with only six inches clearance on that step. Lesson learnt? I think so. Thanks to everybody for the advice about uh, having a look and giving it a go. It's not normally my thing. I like to go to the workshop and get things done properly. Next time it goes in I'll get them to check it and make sure everything's safe and sound under there. Until next time, bye for now.